The six seven, hello. hello. <laughs> All around us. It's a pleasure to be here with everybody here this evening. But it's also a pleasure to be here to support our colleague, Mr. Hippolito Diego Penn. Give him a round of applause, please. I feel really good that Diego is on our team. Diego adds the fire. He adds also passion. And these things set us apart as a team. Each and every one of the persons on this team has fire. We have passion. And that sets us apart from all the other teams. You know, when I sit down and I, I reason with Diego, and we go back and forth, Diego is a man who is well-researched, you know. Diego's a man, when he tells you that he has a passion for something, he's got a passion for it. One thing I like about Diego is that me and him, our passions are kind of interlinked. His love for fishing and his love for farming ties in with my passion for further preservation of our natural resources. If someone doesn't fight to preserve our land and our seas, we have no farming. We have no fishing. And I know District 7 doesn't want that. This new breed of ND politics in NDP politicians. This new breed of NDP politicians are some of the most serious people. When you see it comes to this country and its people. We have our leader, Honorable Walwin. You have heard him. His main focus is on skillfully divorcing the country's economy with one main objective, and it's to make it stronger for you, the people. Now, that's leadership. Our leader, Myron Walwin, is well equipped. He is also well supported by a capable team who can, help, who can help him accomplish all that he sets out to do. This team brings to the table some very significant strengths in areas that the Virgin Islands needs right now. There is no other choice. When you compare the team, this NDP team, there is no other choice when you compare us to the others that wish to lead this territory. And I stand firmly and I say that. As I mentioned before, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be going into a little bit of a shift, an industry shift. There's hardly one person sitting here who doesn't have a family member, a friend, or someone whose life isn't touched by tourism. Yes. Just think about how far it spreads and how many people's lives are shaped by it. Our tourism industry on a whole, by its sheer nature, directly accounts for 25% of the territory's jobs. And if you look at it indirectly, it accounts for 72% of the territory's jobs. Yes. Financially, it, its dollar touches more homes in the Virgin Islands. And I'm glad that this is one of my platforms yes. because I will personally make sure that we further strengthen and secure our tourism industry. Ladies and gentlemen, I live 
and breathe tourism. As a matter of fact, I have been one of the key decision makers at the highest levels at the BVI Tourist Board. Our leader, Myron V. Walwyn, has been the chairman of that same tourist board. Why do I say this? This is the type of knowledge and experience that we bring for the growth and direction of this industry. Don't take these points lightly, please. When you compare our members, this team has the knowledge and the experience over any other team. Okay then. <laughs> Only one team in that, she said. <laughs> I agree with you. But not because Myron and I have had this good experience and this good knowledge. We're not afraid to get in there and roll up our sleeves and get dirty. We go into the trenches with our teams because that's what true leaders do. You've maybe heard me discuss some of my plans to highlight and in some areas to further cultural tourism. Adding on to that, I can recall a meeting with Ron Potter, right here at the ticket. I was one of the persons who met with Ron to discuss from the tourist board's perspective what kind of experience that the guests should have when they're coming here to experience the Long Look Heritage Tour. Yeah. Me, Trevor Grant. We met over a couple days and we talked in detail how things should happen. And I am glad to see that this tour is functioning and that my, as well as other people's suggestions were taken to make it happen. Ron and the crew deserve a clap for that. This heritage tour is another great addition to the tourism product. You always hear me say that we in the Virgin Islands have a story rich with pride and culture to tell. When I am elected, I will ensure that we put the wheels in motion to tell this story. <laughs> Telling this story opens up avenues for you, the people, not only of District 7, but for the entire territory, for you to be able to put money in your pockets. I am concerned with making sure that I provide jobs. Jobs through tourism. Jobs in construction. Jobs in transportation. Jobs in day sailing. Jobs in fishing. Jobs in farming. Jobs in land and sea tours. Jobs in hotels. Jobs in restaurants. Jobs so our people can support their families and raise their standards of living. That is my concern. And as you can hear, Diego understands that there is a lot of opportunity in the 7th and 8th district. This team will harness that. And we will do it through tourism. Another passion of mine and my platform is small business. It talks to the same thing that Diego here is talking about. Up providing opportunities for small business. District 7 and the Water Territory are full of persons that have knowledge. They have ideas and they have drives to open their own business. And this NDP team under the leadership of Myron Walwyn is going to make it happen. <laughs> Myron has pledged that as soon as we get elected, he will inject 10 million dollars international business bureau to help young entrepreneurs to realize their dream of owning their own business now this is what team ndp is all about yeah. 
Might I remind you, the National Business Bureau was started under what government? What government? Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, this government's strategy is to ensure that tourism is taken seriously. Not paying it lip service. Not just broad brushing it like some of the other parties doing. We sit down collectively and we talk about the direction it's gonna go. I'm gonna present a couple of ways in which I see this happening. One, our team has developed a comprehensive plan that involves forming, like I said, a ministry of tourism. This ministry is going to be responsible for the formation of well-informed policies, plans, and marketing strategies for the sole purpose of pushing and preserving our tourism product. It's a place where the bright minds of our industry, some of whom we are going to help educate, can return and contribute to the meaningful direction of our country's tourism product. This is the level of government that we need to get. This NDP government will make it happen. Yeah. Number two, you've heard the chairman say it. Our airport development, and I'm afraid to say it neither. Some people playing ring a ring a rosy with it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've said it at my lunch. We will be irresponsible if we as a government do not prepare to advance more seamless air access to our territory for our residents and for our traveling guests. Developing our airport through a public-private partnership is a must. If we want to remain relevant in this vital industry of tourism, we have to do it. Air travel is the highest used means of travel worldwide. And under this new NDP government, the vision to bring this expansion project to completion for the people of the Virgin Islands will continue. Steps have already been taken to restart the conversation. But quite simply, people need to get here in a competitive, timely, and efficient manner. So they can conduct business with us. So they can visit their friends, visit their family, or just simply to enjoy a vacation. I clearly understand that the improving of the airport is pinnacle to the long-term growth of this territory and its tourism product. This key expansion, <laughs> this key expansion will help us to fill up the taxis, fill up the restaurants, fill up the hotels, fill up the guest houses, which in turn puts money into your pockets. I, Trevor Grant, will push to make sure that this happens. <laughs> Lastly, tourism development on the whole. We have to attract investment locally and investment from international persons. We have to attract money for investment in hotels, investment in resorts, investments in villas, restaurants, and in charter boat companies, just to name a few. So our people from Jasper Dyke to Anagara can get to work and provide for their families. Don't let nobody fool you. The level of investments that we need cannot happen in an effective manner without the expansion of the airport. Investors have to be given a high level of comfort that the beautiful properties that we may allow them to build, that they can stand the best chance for persons to survive and stay in them. These are just three points of my plan. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Trevor Grant. I'm a proud candidate that will produce for you. 
7 district and all the voters i'm asking for your vote i'm also asking for the votes for my colleagues when you go to the polls i want you to make my platform of tourism my platform of natural resources my platform of small business opportunities i want you to make all of these better stronger and together but there's only one way you can do that when you go to the polls i want you to vote the national democratic party all the way thank you very much have a very good evening and god bless these beautiful british virgin islands thank you